In this class, I'm going to show you each and everything to develop dynamic gate chart dashboard from multiple tabs. I will also show you how to create drop down connected with the sheet name. So for example, if you add any other sheet name, it will automatically be a part of this drop down. If I select any other sheet name, all of my gate chart has been updated. Next, I will show you only how to create gate chart, but I will show you how to create formula to extract the sheet name net using VBA. So in this video, I'm going to cover many, many different things for your learning. Don't skip the video, follow each and everything. If you have anything else, just write me comment and I will answer as quickly as possible. No further ado, let's go together. Consider we have this blank data sheet. The first thing we need to click on plus icon to create a new helper sheet. I will rename the sheet as a helper. The next thing we need to click on name manager. Click on new and we will assign a function name. Let's say sheet name. We will remove everything and refer to. And I will write a very simple formula. Get dot workbook open parenthesis one close parenthesis and simply hit enter. I will close this window and for now if I click anywhere for example and simply type sheet you can see a new function sheet name just double click and hit enter. Now this will extract all of the sheet name along with the file name as well. The next thing we need to improve this function a little bit more for example we want to capture everything after the closing bracket. So what I need to do I will write a very simple function text after just double click text after what is the text this whole formula result is my text what is the delimiter in this case the closing bracket is my delimiter simply hit enter now you can see we get all of the sheet name the next thing i will simply convert these into a one column so i will write a very simple transpose function open parenthesis and close parenthesis hit enter now in this case, we only want to capture all of the sheet name which has a word class. So for example, if I type a very simple formula just for understanding search, open parenthesis, what is the text you want to find? In this case, I will type class, quotation mark again, hit comma, and in which text you want to find. I will assign this full array, close parenthesis, hit enter. Now you can see anywhere this find a word class, it's written one the next thing we need to simply apply is number function here open parenthesis and close parenthesis hit enter now you can see it return true whenever this find a word class so for now we need to improve this function using filter function so how we can do it the first thing i will simply click here and apply filter function open parenthesis what is the array this whole is my array for my filter function. I will hit Ctrl C to copy this formula again. For include parameter, I will simply type search function again. Open parenthesis. What is the text? In this case, I want to find class. Hit comma. And within which text? So I will hit Ctrl V to paste my whole formula again. Close parenthesis for my search function. And again, I will write is number function here. Open parenthesis. And now close parenthesis for filter function hit enter now you can see it only return the sheet which has the word class the next thing i will improve this function a little bit more for example i hold control key and using mouse i move this sheet to the right side and for example if i rename this copy let's say class 11 and go to helper sheet you can see my sheet name is added but my sheet name is not updated so what we need to do for this one, I will simply write a very simple function and person range between one one. Now these are dynamic function for the bottom value. I will simply type one for the top value. I will simply type one close parenthesis and I will type here substitute function. Simply type sub double click on a function. Now in this case, what is the text? This whole formula result is my text hit comma. What is the old text? one what is the new text simply type double quotation mark as a blank value i will increase the width of formula bar and close parenthesis hit enter now this function is much more volatile for example i click here and i hold control key and move this 
to the right side it's create a duplicate copy simply right click and rename it let's say class 12 now if you go to helper sheet my sheet name automatically update now we need to short this formula a little bit more first thing i will simply apply lambda just double click and close parenthesis at the very end and simply copy this whole formula Control c hit escape key go to formula menu tab click on name manager click on new in this case i will define sheet name let's say sn just to make it short remove everything in the repo to hit Control v to paste the formula and simply hit ok close this window and now if you type anywhere let's say equal sn simply double click open close parenthesis hit enter we will get the sheet name automatically we don't need any extra step and now if i click here hold control key and create a duplicate copy rename it let's say class 13 hit enter go to helper sheet you can see we have successfully created a new sheet in my formula so in this method we don't need any vba we just create a simple function to get dynamically the sheet name now why this important because we want to get all of the data from the sheet which has a word class now we need to create drop down on my graphical dashboard tab the first thing i will delete all of these extra columns i will write a header just for understanding purpose let's say drop down list increase the width of column a little bit more go to graphical dashboard sheet and here i will write for the drop down i will merge a few of cell now click on data in menu bar click on data validation click on list select in source and go to your helper sheet click on a to and drag the mouse down and also select some more blank row as well for future simply hit ok now we can see our drop down has been developed to make it visually more better the next thing i will click on any of the class sheet and i will copy all of these header simply go to helper sheet and here i will simply right click and paste as a value increase the width of column i will go to class sheet one and copy all of the table header as well simply hit ctrl c go to helper sheet and simply hit ctrl v here increase the width of all four columns just to easy for reading our heading okay now we need to bring the data based on the sheet selection in graphical dashboard so for example if i write equal click on class one scroll a little bit down and simply select all of the range hit enter it will extract the data for us the only thing we need to make it dynamic the class one based on our drop down selection so for now i will remove the equal sign from this one and i will simply click after the one and percent quotation mark and quotation mark at the very end and i will write one more quotation mark at the start after the apostrophe i will type quotation mark again and simply hit and person again also update this class one to connect with the cell on a graphical dashboard so for now i will simply click equal and i will remove class one simply go to graphical dashboard sheet and select the drop down range but since this is a merge cell so we need to only connect i4 and i will remove m4 and colon simply hit backspace key and hit enter now it return the reference of sheet the next thing we need to simply apply indirect function open parenthesis and close parenthesis hit enter now we get the data based on our selection in graphical dashboard so for example if i click class one it will return the data from class one sheet the next thing which is important but it's optional parameter for example if the data is not updating you can simply write static rand between 1 1 since all of these data in number format for the bottom will type 1 for the top will type 1 close parenthesis and hit enter it will return the same result 
but in some situation if the result is not automatically update this formula will force the formula to quickly calculate the result that is all about how we need to get the data from multiple sheet based on drop down selection the next thing we need to create three more helper rows first i will just count for total score the second row will be for our needle and the third row will be for remaining score now here i will type a very simple formula simply type equal and select the total score for the needle i will simply type 1.5 for now and for the remaining i will simply type a very simple formula equal to sum sum of all these score close parenthesis minus total score the next thing we need to select all of these three cells and drag the formula to the left side now we have created everything for our gate chart the next thing we need to build single gate chart first i will select all of the data set for example leave the total score and select all of the cell click on insert click on pie chart in this case i will select donut pie chart i will right click and format series data for the donut hole size i will set 50% hit okay and for the angle of first slicer i will define 270 hit okay the next thing i will click on select data again add another series for the series name i will simply type needle and for the series value i will remove this formula move this window a little bit to the right side and select all of these three value and simply hit okay hit okay now i will click on change chart type click on combo chart here for the first series i will select donut pie chart and for the second series i will select pie chart now here is very important thing for example if you want to edit the chart let's say i want to edit my needle chart i will remove this x axis the secondary x axis and i will check this for our needle chart now you can see our needle chart is on the top of the first chart for now i will simply hit ok and now i need to edit my chart i will click on my legend and delete it double click on the green fill color simply go to format for the shape fill, i will select no fill double click on a blue fill color shape fill no fill now for the needle you can just double click and update the needle color but if the needle is too much small for now you can simply set let's say 10 value hit ok now you can simply double click on the needle and assign the color you want for example in this case i want the black color for my needle and for the shape outline i don't want any outline for my needle now simply again type 1.5 size for our needle and this is how we can format our needle i think when we uh, convert the chart to combo chart this automatically change the angle of first slicer so you can simply click on the chart and you can see angle of first slicer so for this you can simply type 270 and hit ok now we need to click on change chart type and i just remove this pie chart as a primary x axis and i will click on donut pie chart since i want to edit this chart now and simply hit ok first thing you can see if i select the chart the angle of first slicer is again zero i will convert this to 270 hit ok the next thing i need to assign colors so let's say the first range will be let's say red i will click and go to format shape fill i will select red fill color for the second i will select yellow and the third let's say this green color for the blue circle i will simply click on this one and shape fill to no fill now our chart is almost ready we need to click on chart design again change chart type and i will convert the needle to a secondary x axis and now you can see needle is on the top of our chart simply hit ok and this is how we can create basic k chart the next thing we need to do a little bit formatting i will remove this title for now for the shape fill simply type no fill insert a circle shape and simply insert it here for now for the shape outline i will simply select no outline and i will move the shape just to fill my gate chart area the next thing i will click on insert insert another shape and in this case i will insert rectangle and simply draw the rectangle equal to the width of my gate chart ok 
okay the next thing while copy this chart you need to click and for now we don't have any other shape so i will simply hit ctrl a to select everything present in this sheet mean all of the shape click on shape format and simply click group the next thing i will select this chart and hit ctrl c go to my dashboard and simply hit ctrl v now you can see we have copy each and everything but i think we forget one more thing you can see a light border here simply click on the chart simply click again to select only the chart click on format shape outline to no outline and simply click anywhere now you can see we have only chart in our dashboard i think i also forget to show the total score here so i will simply click here and simply click on my formula bar simply type equal go to my helper sheet and i will select the total score and simply hit enter but i need to do a little bit formatting as well in this case i will sit top align and choose the white font color i think we can increase font size a little bit more and make it bold so this is how we can develop this one k chart now for example if i switch to any other class you can see my chart has been automatically updating now i will show you how to replicate this chart quickly for multiple kpis if you click on this chart anywhere you can see shape format since we have merge multiple shape in this chart i will click anywhere on my chart once you see the chart design heading you can simply click on them and select data here you can see two of the series i will move this window a little bit to the right side click on the first series once you click here you can see this range has been highlighted so you need to remove all of these text and simply assign new range and hit ok but what is happening here my chart lose every formatting so don't worry about this one i will simply hit ctrl z and i will go to file click on option click on advance scroll a little bit to the downside here you can see chart just uncheck these two option and simply hit ok now i will click on my chart again click on chart design select data click edit remove this range and assign new range for my chart now you can see it's not updating the format of my chart simply hit ok click on second series edit the range remove this series value and assign a new series and simply hit ok now you can see in this case my needle size is a little bit more so you can adjust the needle size let's say i want 1.5 in this case 2 but we need to update this formula as well so i will simply click here and i will subtract the needle size from my chart and simply hit ok the next thing we need to copy this whole chart click ctrl c click on graphical dashboard ctrl v and now we need to assign the total score so click on the circle click on formula bar simply hit equal go to helper sheet click on the first cell which has a result and hit ok we need to do a little bit formatting and this is how we can replicate this chart so i will do quickly for all of my chart as well the very last thing we need to assign a good border for my charts i will simply click on my shapes and simply insert a round corner rectangle and draw the rectangle as per the size of our chart for the shape fill i will simply select no fill for shape outline i will choose a high fit and for the shape outline color i will choose this purple color you can do a little bit more formatting with your chart i hope you like this video and you have learned something useful from this video if you like the video please subscribe my channel for more video and if you have any specific question please write in comment thank you so much